Community members tell me it's pretty difficult to find a better community than Kaysville. The pulse of the community is deeply affected after eight year old Macy Hall fell off of a parade float and then was run over by the parade float, according to her family. Again, the pulse of the community deeply affected. We spoke to several people saying this really hurts Kaysville, especially that it happened during their parade. This annual parade that people look forward to every year, but this year's came with tragedy. It's still just hard to even wrap my brain around. No, no parent should ever have to bear their child. An eight year old girl dies on America's Independence Day. It just feels so surreal. You just hear about these things happening, but you don't ever like it just feels different when it's like happening so close to home. A home missing a piece now after the family says she was hit and killed by a parade float in the annual Kaysville parade. It happened on Main Street Monday morning and it canceled the remainder of the parade. I have such bad anxiety anyway about like anything happening to him ever at all. And it, you just it's just unbelievable to even think about anything like that happening, especially like on a day like today and everybody like so many spectators and witnesses. I just can't even imagine the trauma. Rachel Dragon and Angela Wheeler can empathize with this trauma. When I first heard about it, it just sorry, it hit really close to home just because we have a daughter in heaven as well. Both have lost a child. I just am praying really hard for that family because I kind of know what they're going through. A family going through the unimaginable, but has the support of the community. I know a lot of these families personally, and I know what a tight knit community it is. And I just, my heart aches for this family. Every time I think about it, I get choked up. Rachel was choked up as she held her son Javen in her arms. You always cry. <laughs> I do always cry, huh? I mean, I think it's just all about love. You know, we just got to make sure everybody knows that they're loved and that they're taken care of, and we just got to take care of each other. A GoFundMe has been put together for eight-year-old Macy Hill. That's, of course, on GoFundMe's website. It will be on our website, abc4.com. So far, that's only been online for two hours. It's raised more than $30,000. Reporting live in Kaysville, Jordan Burroughs, ABC4 News.